Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering and the Coordinator Teaching Learning Center, Care College of Engineering, Trichy. Uh, this is lecture number 5 in the lecture series. The topic is Active versus Passive Learning. So, we try to understand the effect of active learning and problem with the passive learning today. So, active learning is anything course related that all students in the class session are called upon to do other than simply watching, listening and taking notes in the classroom. So, active learning engages the students in the process of learning through activities or discussions in the class as opposed to passively listening to the expert. It emphasizes higher order thinking, higher order thinking skill and often involves a group work. So, Freeman et al. They defined active learning in 2014. So, active learning making the student responsible, it is, it is student centric learning, making the student responsible for their learning, learning activity and involving them in the classroom discussion so that they can learn effectively. Whereas passive learning is, is lecture centric or teacher centric uh, learning is a method of learning or instruction where students receive information from the instructor or the expert and they internalize it and where the learner receive no feedback from the instructor. So, there is no opportunity for the student to interact with the teacher in the case of passive learning. So, what we do then all the teachers normally try to teach effectively, uh, effectively in the classroom to make the student to understand the subject effectively. So, everybody trying to teach effectively, but how to measure that the student did understand the subject well? So, the answer is obviously the answer is class test or the slip test. So, at majority of the student, they are not doing well in the test. So, poorly writing in the examination. That is what we observe. Uh, not all the classrooms, exceptionally ma majority of the classroom, it is the situation. They are not writing the test effectively or, uh, or examination also, they are not writing well. So, what we observe in the classroom while we teach this content? The students are not writing while the teacher is teaching the subject. They are just seeing and listening to the board. The students do not know how to write the notes in the class and answer in the examination. So, the written communication, they are very poor in the written communication. Students do not know to form sentence and explain the content. So, they have very, diffi very difficulty in the language. Students do not remember and answer to the questions. So, they are very poor in the oral communication as well as the written communication. So, we, we try to uh, understand the difference through two different types of learning uh, with the help of a, this example. So, working of a Lamont boiler. So, it is a high pressure boiler. The earlier classes, we discussed the boilers, low pressure boiler, working of the boiler. There is no construction working of various types of boiler. This is another type of boiler. It is a high pressure boiler. So, where you find some uh, additional features comparing with the low pressure boiler. So, with the basic components, we have a steam separated drum, circulating pump, distribution header. So, we have a grate where the combustion is taking place, combustion of the coal is taking place. We have the combustion chamber, evaporator, convection superheater, economizer, air preheater. We have a blower. So, the hot air is going to the compressor. We have a feed pump which circulates the water. So, the components are familiar with the student. The components are they are very much familiar with the students. Now, we, we try to teach the subject using the passive learning technique. So, in the passive learning technique, uh, the teacher draw the diagram on the board and indicate the part clearly or use a PPT or display the diagram to display the diagram. So, and explain the construction working of the boiler. Uh, the time taken may be uh, 20 minutes for the entire teaching process. So, in the meantime, the student, they have to note down the information. So, it is only the teacher is doing the work. 
with the board and they is explaining to the students so students they have to note down the information so does this method of teaching address the issue issues of the students so their communication problem writing problem uh, the oral communication problem students may be seriously listening to the teacher but does not guarantee that they will write in the examination examination well or they reproduce the content effectively in the uh, notebook or the examination whereas we try to teach the same topic with active learning technique so draw the diagram on the board or display the ppt maybe 2 to 3 minutes ask the student to draw the diagram with the pencil so it will take 4 minutes or 3 minutes ensure that everybody completed and ask them to write the functions of the part of the boiler in their notebook because the various components of the boiler they are already familiar with the earlier lecture they, they you may ask them to recall the functions of various components and write, write them on the notebook then make them make them to think about the diagram and write two to three sentences about the diagram so this may take two minutes uh, check the answers from the students so two or three students you can randomly check the check their notes whether they have written uh, something about the functions of the components of the boiler or working of the boiler two three sentences so ask them to read whatever they have written just listen do not comment or allow the student to comment or laugh at the uh, with the students so it will take two to three minutes then you explain now the teacher will explain the construction and working of the boiler so it may take uh, three minutes then ask the student to check their statements check their responses or the uh, statement whatever they have written earlier in the note with the with your statements whatever you are told right now so ask them to compare and uh, ask them to correct wherever required so that will take three minutes now the same boiler is taught to the students touching upon the earlier knowledge so already they know the information you 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 make them to recall and rewrite and you give the instruction teacher will give the instruction and uh, compare with the previous information and uh, correct the information correct the uh, content what they have written in the notebook it is it is only additional points it is only additional points now the students as they are recalling from their previous content as they recalling from their previous information they will be happy with the uh, with their knowledge level with their understanding of the subject so that your points your discussion will reinforce their thought and it will make them to learn better so this is the active way of doing the the same topic so what is the difference we observed here the students are given opportunity to think and write so it is a cognitive activity so we have to give them opportunity to think about the subject point so which will promote their sense sentence forming capacity writing capacity and thinking capacity students are engaged in the learning process so they are also part of the learning process the teachers are not teaching they are acting as a facilitator to improve the listening and writing skill of the students so practice active learning and experience whether the students are students issues are addressed in the classroom so their communication will improve their confidence will improve uh, the writing skill will improve in the classroom so when we want to teach the subject effectively to the students so it is it is related with the cognitive process so teaching them and making them to understand the subject is a process happening in the brain so cognitive domain so we have to influence their emotions that is affective domain so what is affective domain when we make them to feel that they know something about the subject that is what emotions you appreciate them so that it will it will motivate them to do better and they use their active behavior so that is psychomotor domain so the all the three domains we have to uh, work with work with the students then only they can learn to effectively today in the today uh, environment so adopt active learning in the classroom and uh, promote better learning experience to the students so with this i stop here so thank you for watching so if you have any queries contact me uh, i will clarify so we'll meet again in another video lecture until then bye